this at? Happy Halloween, Betsy! <laughs> Order! What the hell are you doing? Halloween passed like days ago. I know, mate, but we still gotta film the Halloween special. Well, I think you're forgetting that we're both sick, so I'm pretty sure we can't make any videos right now. Mate, that's not an excuse. Um, I think that's a really good excuse, actually. Besides, what video ideas do we have? I don't really have any ideas right now. Well, I mean, your guitar strings do kind of seem like they need a little bit of changing. I see what you're doing. I don't get it. Hello, guys, and welcome to another string change story time. Not only that, but it's also another childhood trauma video because I was just scared of a lot of things as a child. But before we get started with this video, first I gotta talk about all the things that I got here laid out on the table for you guys, because I mean, again, this is string change story time. I have my Epiphone Les Paul. I'm gonna restring this again. I realized that I restrung this like two, three times maybe now. Um, I just use this guitar a lot, because I love it. And I got this Music Nomad spray for the neck, because it's good. Honestly, I, I feel like you guys should use it if you don't have it. Also got these pliers that I stole from my dad still. He hasn't figured it out. Don't know how because he watches these videos. Also got me some Ernie Ball 10 gauges. Uh, this is what I use for the Epiphone. Um, they're good for me and they're good for a lot of people, honestly. Okay, so anyways, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to talk about that scared me as a kid is the movie Zathora. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before. Think about sci-fi Jumanji. It's this movie about these two brothers who find this game and they play the game and it takes them to this sci-fi fantasy thing. So again, think Jumanji but space stuff. I watched this when I was like around maybe six, seven maybe? I, I was terrified. There's a lot of scenes in that movie that is just like terrifying as hell. Um, like a good example was the robot scene. The scene that terrified the shit out of me was the aliens that showed up in the movie. Um, they had to hide from these aliens that were attracted to light and stuff like that, and oh my god. I remember those aliens giving me nightmares for days. Oh my god, there's this one scene where one of the aliens like extend their tongue to the kid. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Poor kid. Honestly. Next thing that scared me as a kid. Hey, mate, how about talk about that one time when you were scared of that one jump scare video? What? Ordep, no, we're not going to do that. Come on, do it. No, Ordep, I'm not doing that. What are you? Chicken? No. Where did you even get that from? Never mind. You know what? I will do it. But not for you, Ordep, for you guys, because I will do anything for your entertainment. Okay, just to get this out of the way, um, we're gonna watch something that terrified the shit out of me as a kid, and I'm pretty sure it terrified you guys too. We are gonna watch Ghost Car commercial thing. Look, I don't wanna watch this, but for your entertainment, I basically have to. Here we go. This, this, this. Fuck this. I know what happens. I know exactly what happens. I'm not watching it, okay? Okay? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm i sorry, okay? No! Don't make me. Do not make me. I'm not watching it. No, for real. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm leaving right now. Until I couldn't do it. So, next thing we're gonna talk about. So, the next thing we're gonna talk about is something that actually happened in my childhood, and it's something I really can't explain well. As a kid, I had this toy that was the matchbox it was like a matchbox pirate themed skeleton head set uh, i'll put up a picture right here i'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen it before one night just out of nowhere um the thing went off i don't even know how it went off that that's what i want to know i could have sworn when we went to sleep the lights on that thing were off like the eyes glow whenever it's on but i remember falling asleep and the lights were off and not only that but Every time I moved around in my bed, that this is when I this is when I caught it talking. Every time I was moving around in my bed, the thing was like I heard the sound effects that it was making, and the sound effects are terrifying. It was making like this. Set sail, by a skull. I don't know how to explain it honestly. So here to explain it is my brother, who is also the designer for my band's merch and stuff, which you should definitely go check out. Because he was there and he was a witness to this. So I'm showing you guys that I'm not crazy. Uh, see you. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Caesar. Um, so I'm gonna tell you. Do you remember the Matchbox skeleton that oh. like scared the shit out of us as kids? Well, duh. I mean, the man, that was a long time ago. So I'm not making it I up, did... right? Yeah. That that's that's a fact. Yeah. You wanna tell your side of the story? Oh yeah. Uh. So I'm pretty sure it went like this. So, I think you woke me up in the middle of the night, but yeah. I also heard the the cries and the sounds of it. Now, I remember that thing spoke Spanish because it was region locked. Yeah, because we sure bought it, it in Mexico. And so, um, I remember it uh, like glowing its red eyes. It turned around and it turned back around. Like I know it, was, it switched its head back and forth. And so I looked at it. And I think I was too terrified to even move. All I can know is that I I went to it. I jumped out of my bed. <laughs> I jumped out of the bed and I grabbed it. And I think I tried turning it off, but I don't know. It, it, it was just kind of weird. It was just in the moment kind of thing, you know? Yeah. I'm still wondering yeah. how it even activated. I mean, like, obviously the on switch was on, but when we fell asleep, like, we would have seen those eyes glowed. Okay, that's all I wanted you for. All right, well, thanks for having me. Okay, bye-bye. All right, next thing that terrified the <coughs> out of me as a kid. Um, we're actually going to hit into some creepypasta territory. So if you don't like creepypastas for some reason, uh, I'd advise to skip a little bit ahead because we're going to head into some, you know, like video game and other stuff territory later on. So keep watching. It's, it's going to get interesting, trust me. I was terrified of this one creepypasta called Marina Mornigar Gleskov. If you guys don't know what this is, um, it's a video, apparently, if you watch it, um, you're gonna see things and then you're gonna want to pull your eyes out. I, I don't know, just some bullshit creepypasta stuff, honestly. But the video itself, I remember watching the video itself. And all it really is is just a guy staring at you for a good couple seconds or so and then he does his grin in the end and honestly he looks like Nico Bellic. Since I'm 20 now, I should be able to handle this video. So what we're gonna do is watch this video. Okay, I remember this one terrifying me as a kid. So we're gonna watch the Mariana Mortigar Glesscore video and I mean like, I, all I know is that really nothing happens in this video. Um, this is the one minute version. I, I'm for sure there's no jump scares in it. If there is jump scares, I'm gonna cut it off regardless because I'm not a jerk to you guys, honestly. Bazoonga! Okay, maybe sometimes, but I'm not a jerk. All right, but um, here we go. Oh my god, it's Nico Bellic! Come on, Nico! Come on, Nico! Come on, Nico! Come on, Nico! Come on! Come on! Do it! Do it! <coughs> oh, that hurt. Come on! Change your face! <coughs> me! <coughs> that sounds scared to me. That sounds scared to me. That was in the video. <coughs> hell. Come on, it's just a video. <coughs> hell. Stop. Stop. Ah, uh, staring contest. Me and you. Come on. <coughs> I lost. So next thing that scared me as a kid is also another creepy pasta, and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about it. It's called the Lavender Town Syndrome. And if you guys don't know what Lavender Town is, it's it's this town you head into from Pokemon. It's in the first generation Pokemon games, also in Fire Red. That's how I know about it because I've played Fire Red version. And, you know, as a kid, I was terrified of that town. I was also terrified of the music. But the thing is, though, I've never heard of this creepypasta until I was like around maybe 11 or 12 years old. So the story on Lavender Town is a Apparently, if you listen to the song, you're gonna feel depressed and eventually uh, get some seizures or whatever. And I actually believe that for some stupid reason. So here I am today, about to face my fear again. We are gonna listen to the original Japanese version of the Lavender Town Syndrome, because apparently that's the version that gives you headaches and depression and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's give it a try. All right, so here we are about to watch the Lavender Town video, um, the original Japanese version from Pokemon Red and Green. So apparently I'm supposed to feel nauseous and I'm also supposed to feel depressed after watching this video. And, but I mean, I'm, I'm living with COVID and I feel like I already feel those things anyways. But you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So let, let's give this a watch. I forgot how much I love this song, actually. Ding, ding. 
Yeah, I had enough of this. Um, yeah, you know, the, the theory's just a theory, bro. Next thing! That scared me as a kid. Alright, now we're out of creepypasta territory. Thank god, I know. But, in this next one, it actually is more traumatizing and sad than scary. So, prepare yourself. So, this is an episode of Casper, Casper the Friendly Ghost. One of them was an episode of Casper where he befriends this fox, and you know, him and this fox are just like, having fun together and whatever. And then, you know, just out of nowhere, uh, real life hits, and the fox gets shot by this hunter. Oh, And then you see a scene where Casper starts crying, and then he buries the fox. It all ends well because the fox comes back as a ghost, and you know, they live happily ever after. But as a kid, when I watched this, I was so sad. I remember crying for that fox so many times. Jesus, it was just... I couldn't handle it. Alright, so if you made it this far to the video, I want to congratulate you, because you're gonna hear a big one that nobody has ever talked about, surprisingly. So, do you guys remember the game Drawn to Life? You know, that game that was on the DS, that, you know, if you draw a character, uh, you go on an adventure, and stuff like that. And now, this is gonna sound like creepypasta ter territory again, but what if I told you that that entire game was actually somebody's coma dream? I know, I know, you guys are saying, this sounds like a dumb creepypasta where everybody just has- it's just someone's coma dream, like, all the time. If you play Drawn to Life 2, the original one, and, you know, play it all the way to the end, you're gonna get this ending. Now, I'm gonna edit the ending, I'm not gonna show the entire, um, credits because the whole thing is like four minutes long. I'll put a link in the description below so you can watch the full thing. I'm also gonna edit the music out because, you know, copyright claim, but I'm gonna show you all the images they show in the ending of this game. Yes! This is a children's game! They showed that ending to children! They showed an ending where this family comes home from a carnival, an amazing day from a carnival, and then a car accident happens, and real life happens, and here's the brother and the sister in the hospital. It's traumatizing, honestly! This is a kid's game! But yeah, I'm actually really surprised that nobody has ever talked about this. Not even, like, creepypasta people talk about this. It's really rare, honestly. So, I would say I'd give this a watch, especially the original version. It is sad, and a shot of real life, and honestly, I don't even know. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching, please like, share, and subscribe. And again, if you guys have anything that scared you as a kid, please comment that below, I would love to hear about it. But anyways, I'm glad you guys watched this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.